Okay, hey, welcome back to ACA Online. There's been a few updates since the last time I broadcasted. Uh, today is June 17th, the day I'm recording, and we had some few uh, updates to the entire game. Um, first off, the servers aren't called PvP or PvE anymore. If you want to do player versus player, it's now called, I believe, yeah, Athelus Normal. And if you grind on there or attack, you get plus 10 more experience, percent more experience points. Whereas on a PvE, now called Athelus Limited, uh, you just get regular what you always get, unless there's some sort of event going on. Also, if you are in charge of a guild or part of a guild, there now is, next to John Hubert, the guild administrator, Jeffrey Wilson, a guild skills master. Only a guild master can use the selected guilds. Guild masters usually go here. And you go shopping for stone honor thingies, and just lots been going on. Anyway, it's good stuff for your guild. You can now get guild buffs for more experience or more life points, more attack, whatever. That's if you upgrade your guild past level 5. So I'd definitely do that if I were you. And this is you know, where you get John Hubert to upgrade your guild by going to shop and purchasing guild missions. Of course, remember to pick the correct level. Like, I'm level 50, so I'd have to get level 4150 guild missions. Whereas if I was anything after 51, I'd use the 51 skilled missions and so on and so forth. Also, um, the auction house has changed. You can either go to Stefano Lantos or Endor Washington. Now it's a national auction house. As in, you can purchase anything from any other nation on here. The downside is that to all this is um, now the nations, any nations, aren't getting as much tax money as they want. So a lot of people actually aren't using it. You can register an item here, as in anything from your inventory, by pressing the register button. Or you can go purchase by pressing the purchase button and select what you need, like a weapon, armor, accessory, something for Pran, potion bullet. It's more sorted out this time than the old version. Like I want to get armor for the body of a paladin. Type 2 tells you what ones you're looking for. Type 1 shows what you're wanting to buy in the category. And type 3 shows what class you want it for usually. And I just keep all the levels at 170 because you're going to need it. You can also look up in the uh, item name if you just know the I name of the item and you want to skip all that part. Also, there's something called a new mail system. This would be the little pink box right by your mini map, and it looks like an envelope. And you press it, it goes to messages. You see the little new mailbox sign, you click it, and you get your returns from auction house or your items. Double click it and remember to withdraw your gold if you sold something or the item that's in one of these boxes if you're selling something and it wasn't sold because if you don't you're not going to get that item or that gold back that's the only way to retrieve it it's not automatically sent to you like the old system was you have to get your gold now in your mail also you can mail another player but it costs 500 gold per message it's not much but it adds up what else are the new updates um Oh yeah, chapter two of the Aka Saga is coming. They say that Lakia, that's the island we're on now, is going to fall from the sky. Oh gosh. So a lot has happened. You get still some, what do you call it, quests from Blacksmith Dean, this stupid elixir thingy, whatever. Um, we got some new items, reinforcement. What else happened? Yeah, you see a few new characters in the town of Regenshine. Just remember, if you're starting out, go get your bless in Athelus Normal from Leola Han. 
so you get you know walk faster and all that right now I'm in limited because I don't get bothered here when I record um what else has happened yeah we got a lot of new updates <laughs> so if you want to know what's going on that's why I recorded this because new stuff has happened alright thanks for watching